2.5 million men and women annually visit a Planned Parenthood affiliated health center in the U.S. each year. 20 health centers are located across the state of Michigan, and here in Marquette, 975 patients rely on the services offered by the organization. Planned Parenthood in Michigan has a budget of a little over $20 million. If defunding did occur on a federal level, this organization would be losing $7 million annually. Virtually all of our resources would be impacted in some way or another, and, and um, as this threat has loomed large with the advent of the and the coming of the Trump administration, so it would mean, depending on what the rules were or how this was approached, it would mean a complete overhaul of our business model, and that would all be with an eye toward protecting our mission, which is making sure that patients get cared for. Planned Parenthood receives no funding from the state of Michigan and other than federal funding relies on local donors. If Planned Parenthood's access to Medicaid was taken away, it could be included in the repeal of the Affordable Care Act or the budget reconciliation process. According to Lori Carpentier, the notion that Speaker Paul Ryan has said numerous times regarding patients' ability to get services elsewhere isn't as simple as it sounds. I think the notion that people would automatically have another provider is erroneous and by definition, Planned Parenthoods work to place their health centers in areas where patients are often underserved, especially patients who utilize the Medicaid program, the low-income health insurance program for Americans. So, you know, the notion that, that people can just go elsewhere is wrong, so many people would go without care. When dealing with services offered by Planned Parenthood, the controversial service of abortion is often highlighted, but a majority of the services primarily involve gynecological care and preventative care for women, men, and young adults. Without access to these needed health services for millions of Americans, severe consequences could arise. In Texas, we know that the maternal mortality rate tripled, the STI rate went up significantly, the teen pregnancy rate went up, the HIV infection rate went up, and I think that, that that's well documented. We don't have to wonder. For the individuals who wish for Planned Parenthood to continue to receive federal funding, there are some actions that can be taken. Donating to the organization is always needed. Writing to elected officials expressing your concerns can be effective. And most importantly, coming together as humans and speaking out against hate. Melanie Palmer reporting for ABC 10 and CW5 in Marquette.